Ah, pull that down. Uh, hi, and welcome to uh, this week's Data Burst. And um, of course, we've got our usual um, reprobates. We've got Sobshard. What? Sobshard. Put, put the book No, down. it's mine. It's shiny. <laughs> you. And we've got Ogre. Ogre. Yeah. <laughs> Stop reading now. Oh, okay. he says you've got to put the books down and, and you know do the thing. Do, do the thing. Do the chatty thing. Can't believe it. Says, it quickly, says the guy who took his book to Tesco's with him. I did. Well, it's well, it, the thing is, Storm Shroud gave me the idea ages ago because he used to go ego shopping and reads law books and all that kind of thing. Well. Mrs. Stormshire goes and do the shopping. So I thought, that, I'll get hang, on, hang on, in my defence, that was only during COVID when Tesco said you could only let one person at a time. Well, I thought it was a good idea. So it was a good idea. It. it was. It was. That's that's the way that shopping should be done. Yes, it should. It's, it's uh, stay in the car and read law. That's that exactly. Thing. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Well spent. So uh, this last couple of weeks, I've been out and about because. Um, Storm's house had COVID and I'm, I've, I've been kind of like bored and wandered off. So um, what I've been doing is I've been popping down to our lo some some local game stores. And the first one, uh, I would pop to Sheffield because they were doing uh, an intro day for uh, Infinity. So people could go along and try Infinity. And the second one, I went down to High Wycombe uh, to show an old friend of mine how to play Infinity to get him hooked. Um, old 40k guy, um, which got me thinking of getting people into the game because the more people play the better which is the whole one of the reasons we do the channel and we, uh, is is we want more people playing the game so this is uh this is a clip from where i've been i, I did some filming so here we go uh, today we are in sheffield we're in outpost which are is our local friendly game store um and they are doing an open day to get people playing infinity so we've come to have a quick look around see how they're doing it so hopefully you could find a event near you and get stuck in. So uh, let's go have a look. Okay, so we are in Outpost Sheffield, friendly local game store. And if you see, two reprobates have been on the channel before. Girls and Hera Lad. Um, Hera Lad's getting back into it. So we're taking the opportunity and uh, he's having a go. This is our professional, does hey. it? Hey, hang on. Don't rush me. Don't rush me, chain rifle. Oh, uh, first one. It is first one. Have a look at your dog soldier, though, and have a look at its list of equipment. Dog soldier. Uh, chain rifle plus one. So right, so it's plus one burst. So it's two. So I need to take one. Attempt to dodge. My physical is 10, yep. so I need a 10 or less. Cool. I fail on a 13, which means I get hit by two chain rifles. Mm. Uh, the first one is a definite fail because the damage is 13, I believe. Uh, the damage is, it is 13, yeah. yeah. Chain rifle damage 13. Yeah. 13, I've got an armor of 1, so yeah. I need to roll 13s because that will be 14. Yep. 19 will pass, 4 will fail, which means that he's going to go unconscious. So, how did that go? Oh, I really enjoyed that. That was uh, quite good. I mean, for a beginner, he put up a good fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely shot a dog soldier. The dog soldier definitely didn't die. Uh, it's a learning experience. Next time, I'll do better. It was uh, uh, try and learn what you've learned from today's experience and uh, put it into your future games. <laughs> That was good, that. Thank you. Yeah, you're hooked, aren't you? You're hooked, aren't you, dude? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm down at uh, Tabletop Ridge Republic, and I'm here today with an old friend of mine. And what we are doing, because he reached out, he has asked me to uh, show him how to do Infinity. So we're having a quick yeah. game of Infinity. So we are at a couple of games. Yeah. How are you finding it? It's Awesome. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome. Uh, to the point where you've ruined my <laughs> you've ruined my perception of gaming. Because <laughs> now I want these guys. Yeah. Uh, you got, yeah. You've got some old bakuning uh, that you've had in the cupboard for a long time. Yeah, for years and years and years. Um, I did want to try it at some point, but I never had anyone really to show me. I mean, it's, it, it seemed quite complicated. It is, it is complicated, yeah. but once you've got it, it's, it's actually not that hard at all. No. Uh, it's 
it's all just plus three, minus three, plus six, minus six, whatever. And uh, it just, it's a really good game. Yeah. It's a really nice system. <laughs> and everyone, you, you both get to play. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm well glad that, uh, that you came down this way. Yeah, not a problem at all. And, and, and yet another local game store. I love these places. So, but until we meet again, yeah. we'll see how you go. Can't wait. Okay, so, yeah, that was me um, and Hera Lad. We went to, the she to Sheffield. Uh, Hera Lad's actually going to be playing us Saturday on a tuna point game. So he's put his army together and he's uh, been on uh, army and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to be having a game on Saturday. We're going to film it and see how we get on. So keep an eye out for that one. And... Um, Chris down in High Wycombe. I put him in touch with the War Corps uh, to try and get some more games in because he was hooked and let's get people playing Infinity and, and get them away from the Evil Corp. How would you, <laughs> how would you two get people starting the game, playing the game? What would you suggest? It's it's easy to sell the game to people if you're enthusiastic about it. Would be my because I, I have the couple there's a couple of guys I've gone into it who've never gamed before. They're not they're not war gamers and I've got them playing because they said, "What do you do in your free time?" And I couldn't help going, I play this game, it's brilliant, you should try it. I'll bring some stuff up, I'll show it to you. Mm -hmm. I didn't really give them a choice, and then they tried it, and they went, actually, that's really fun. Yeah, absolutely, I completely agree. It's your own enthusiasm. It's your People want to use the models they've bought. I think there's a lot of people buy things and then never use them. Whereas I think if people see you playing and see you playing regularly, um, and you're enthusiastic and, you you know, they think they're going to be able to play games with you, uh, you know, with the mates and stuff, then I think that's that's quite a good lead-in. And I think that's, you know, people enthusiastic, you know, with your own enthusiasm. Yeah. Can I say, I keep saying yeah. enthusiasm too many Chris, times. Chris but I think his, that's probably a good yeah. be. <laughs> yeah, Chris bought his Bakunin years ago, didn't really do anything, and, and, and he's used them uh, when I went down there. And absolutely loved it. And he's going to get him painted up because he absolutely loved it. So even old models back from years ago, uh, and you, you kind of thought of an interest and if you can grab them and that's great. But yeah, I was, I've always been enthusiastic and you tend to find that war cores are a different breed. Okay. Um, and they're always enthusiastic. So if you can find your local war core, then you'll definitely get into a game. I think if you are trying to get a group at your friendly local game store, though, the two things would probably for me would be consistency. Yeah, if you, you need to be there regularly so people can see you playing and having having a table of terrain. It doesn't have to be sorry, gloriously painted to competitions, but a painted table of infinity terrain stands out in a game store compared to other games which don't have the density of terrain that infinity has. People see it and they go, "What's that?" It's cool, isn't it? What yeah. are they doing? They're moving around the buildings. They're, 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 they're going inside buildings. They're, they're actually interacting with the terrain during this game. What are they playing? I must go and ask them. Yeah, yeah we were using the cardboard stuff. We're getting the uh, Code 1 Which is box. cracking. And it's bang on. And I think we, uh, the store that I went in, the High Wickham store, the Tabletop Republic, um, they had three or four sets in a box just for Infinity. And it was just a case of get that out, have a... And it made a perfect game, absolutely mm. perfect. And it looked good because I looked around the store and there were people playing um, all the game. things. And it's like, mm. so, yeah. Just, I, it's, I think the, the tables, when you go to, into a game store, the infinity tables always draw people's attention because they are so dense. And as a general rule, the infinity birds are quite colourful because yeah. it's that cyberpunk feel. So it naturally sort of draws your eye. Yeah, some of Gaz's tables. Yeah, some of Gaz's tables were really bright and yeah, and, and kind of you want to have a look at the tables, let alone play the game. Yeah. Absolutely. And then once you've got someone to sort of have a look at the game, when you show them the models, the models pretty much sell themselves because Corvus Belli are, you know, geniuses. Which which takes us on to the next topic, the new stuff that we've we've all just had delivered. So... Almost like it was planned, but it really wasn't. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So we're all had as deliveries. Um, I we got, have. Yeah, I, we, I, we've all got that. I, I, I wasn't planning on buying this. This was um, at the local friendly game store with the free O12 model. I, I, I've got to start an O12 army now. Um, no, you don't. You can use it in Corregidor, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll have to get an O12 army. Maybe. Use it in Cosmoflot for sure. Yeah. Anyway, I'll shut up now.
And he kind of like, it was there, it's shiny, it was looking at me, so I decided just to buy it, because you, you go in these local game stores, you have to buy something, don't you? Apparently. Uh, it is good manners. Planning on buying it. And uh, I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm, I was kind of nearly, I've read most of the military orders section, um, and I want to start painting my military orders now. <laughs> oh. I've really just managed to look at the pretty pictures so far. Um, the, some Some of the staged photos in there are really good. There's one, I think it's early on in the book, it's like page nine or ten, which is a speculative agent surrounded by three guys from the military from military orders. It looks really cool. It's a really nice state. I think it's page ten. Yeah. Children at home, turn to page ten. Yeah. <laughs> you <got> homework. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Yeah. That's that one. the one. It's a really it's a really nicely staged photo. I think it looks really good. Yeah, it was, it's, a, it's a good bit to read that one as well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it because I'm, I'm not. This is one of kind of like the first campaign book I've actually bought with the uh, background in it, and it's all there for those. What is it? Military orders, more aggression force, Cosmo Flot, Corregidor. Yeah, all and then, those. And then a bit of mercenaries at the end. And a bit of mercenaries in it, and it gives you everything you want to know about that faction and and some story and some. Everything you'd normally get in a codex, if I can say that word, it's all there. It's so if you kind of want, to, if you're coming from 40k and thinking it's not much fluff, get this book and it's all there. There is a lot of stuff, isn't it? Have you noticed that it's 180 years in the future? Yeah, we're, we're moving. I'm not forward. sure where we were. We, we started at 175. I think it was 176. That was 178. I think it's safe to say it's not going great for humans. Every time there's a new book, they should be get, the combined army should be getting further. So I'm going to say, I, I for one welcome our benevolent alien overlords. And that you two have got the you two have got the more aggression force miniatures. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What do you think of them? Amazing. So I like the look of them anyway. I've actually stuck some together. Greg, have you managed to stick any together yet? No, I've, I've, uh, I've managed to be disciplined that I've got so, six. You know, I've got six military orders models to finish, and then I've painted every military uh, orders model I own. Wow! So and then you've created that first. space on your busy yeah. desk as well. Yes. Um, so yeah, so I've I glued three together basically, and they're absolutely lovely. The joints are big and chunky. Um, a couple of them almost went together with no glue. You kind of obviously I put glue on them in the end, but they were really really so tight. They're the joints it was really I've really got, i've got your pictures here let's let's stick one all right through. okay so yeah because i've been in the garden because i was concerned that the scale you know because they were talking about the you know big and chunky i was worried that the scale might be a bit off for some of the existing models uh like the Surya, um you know two and heavy infantry guys so i've literally just been in the garden taking photos of my new, all models with the new ones um, and they look pretty good, actually. The the two one, you know, sorry, that's look pretty good. Uh, the Zerat is pretty big compared to, I think, uh, I can't remember what I took a poster of it next to. That's but it's so that that yeah, got, um, so that's pretty they're good. The Data actually stand up pretty well to the the new hacker guy. Um, so I'm quite happy, really. So, you know, I think I'd be happy to make a, an army with you know mixed new and old models in them uh, you know i'm quite pleased and the design aesthetic is consistent as well so they don't look out of place next to each other no which is which I think, is good. i think that's a big thing uh, to have that um silhouette um uh, uh, matching that goes with yeah. the old stuff i think some of the lighter infantry guys have i think the main difference is the knee pads because i think they have the older ones have the kind of segmented knee pad thing mm -hmm. and now they've got the proper little knee pad things that look like funny faces <laughs> but um unfortunately once you see it you can't forget so but uh but i i like them i think they're, they're really really nice um you know very happy can't wait to get a bit of paint on them yeah um i i did actually buy some um i i, I bought the diapose box all right you only uh, bought that for the shazvasti in there no, I also and the HVT because I think that for me is is now suddenly become the you know, the prettiest HVT there is. Um, I've had a look at the model and it is Ooh. really nice. Uh, but I don't Not know why me. the Vesti has to come into so many pieces. I've got one hand covers belly. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it's the prettiest HVT. 
Oh, well, oh, I think it is. It's really nice. Okay. I think I, th I think it was the Dragon Lady, but I think it's been overtaken by her now because I think that's okay. really nice. So uh, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be one of my Shazvasti HVTs yeah. now. I think. I would suspect she'll be easy to put together as well if she's anything to go by the the other new models. So you won't be screaming too much with the yeah, other tiny. I've looked at this Shazvasti one and it's it, it's yeah, that don't look pretty. Oh, is it? Oh, right, okay. Yeah. There's many. I've not opened many that box yet. <laughs> I looked at all the boxes and I, I don't I don't remember the Shazvasti looking any more complicated than any other Shazvasti, to be fair. No, no. bear with me. Oh, well, here we go. You've, you've set me off now. <laughs> this is is this an unboxing? Is this our first unboxing that we're going to now? It, oh yeah, it's an unboxing video. Just a... Oh, this is very good. And the internet loves an unboxing video. Uh, yeah, you need to do it in a kind of a Spanish they... accent, Ooh. I think. Ooh. Oh really? Is oh, that... One of those. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Look for surprise and awe. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let me, let me see if I'm close. And then all of them. I'm not impressed. Well, well, if you can't, if you can't assemble him, that's fine. You won't have to use him. That, that's yeah. no, no problem. Not a problem at all. But he's got my favorite gun. He's got my favorite. Does have your favorite gun? My Spitfires. I love a Spitfire. And he's a wild card. Mate. Not HMGs. Only, yeah. Second only to HMGs, yeah. No, no, I, I prefer Spitfires to HMGs. It's just you can't get so many hey, Spitfires in normally. Right, okay. It's just because, uh, like, your, your, your grunt troops don't generally have um, Spitfires. They have HMGs, so you have one with those. You have a, a, a remote with a HMG. You don't really get one with Spitfire. That's why I end up having four Spitfires. Okay, we might let you off for that. That's his excuse. It's not a bad excuse. No. Are we going to uh, mention that you were talking about how you're doing a 200 point game later in the week, uh, which includes at least two HMGs? Um, I was hoping that Harry Lad wouldn't see this um, and, and oh. know that I'm bringing two HMGs. Um, to be fair, this goes out on the ah. Friday. You're playing him first thing on the Saturday. Yeah, he'll never yeah. see it. He'll never see it. Exactly. <laughs> He's fine. not got time to panic. <laughs> However, I am going to ping him and let him know you're taking two HMGs. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I think he's playing um, uh, Ariadna and he's got AP HMG. So I think I think he gets it. And then uh, later on, we are going to have a practice. Uh, We're going to have a practice, yeah, for the event at the end of May over yeah. over at your neck of the woods, Ogre. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. The third... third tournament we've done at uh laser forge miniatures so yeah 20 29th of may i think there's one place left <laughs> if if by any chance anybody watches this and fancies a go i think there's one space left um but yeah that's going to be good but having to practice that's that's almost unheard of what's, what's well, this will be there? my very first game with military orders so i probably say shall i think ah. let's have a rough look at the stats before i actually use them in an event nice i'm, I'm taking i'm taking my shares nasty okay so I'm, I'm not going to be able to see anything that kills me. No, no, no. no. In fact, I've, 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 I've still, got, I've got my Q drone, T drone, one of the drones to do. As, Is that a, a missile part, launcher? As a part of my Nox. Fire. Yeah, it has a missile launcher. I can see a missile launcher as you waved it in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's not an HMG at least. No, that's I've already got that's, the HMG painted. I know that. I've, I, yeah, I've already painted that one up. <laughs> <laughs> we're waffling. Should we wrap it up there? Yep, yeah, we will. Thanks for watching and uh, join us on the next one. And I'll give you uh, the final word for Dob Chef. Take care, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It all helps to keep us motivated and raises the profile of our channel and Infinity the Game, bringing it to a wider audience. And don't forget, if you're so inclined, you can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.